What? You thought that was funny? Huh? You thought, thought that was, was fucking funny. funny? That's not funny. You're not funny. Huh? Stupid neck beard having uh, ass. You're a loser. You're an absolute loser. You don't you don't participate at all to society. You're a waste. No. You're a waste to society. You're worthless. No. Get out of here. Yeah, we don't want you. Get no. out of here. No. You're a fucking loser. You're you never a loser. Want to anything. You're a loser. This is terrible. I hate it. Stop having fun. And that's how it feels to make content of any sort. Or just be on iFunny for uh, five minutes. If you're thinking about making content online, that be it streaming, YouTube videos, or even more extreme, like an OnlyFans or something, I am begging you to watch this entire video. I'm going to start this by saying, today I was at work listening to one of my secret, secret pleasure podcasts. You know, one of those ones that you wouldn't be listening to on full blast on like a public bus or something just so it's just something you kind of enjoy but don't necessarily share with your friends and the hosts were talking about that one of them brought up how they are happy that they have a podcast that they kind of it's kind of a secret you know one of the other hosts said that they were uncomfortable sharing it with their family and they don't want that reputation you know they want to be able to share it with everyone say hey share it with a friend tell a friend but this host added on how else are we going to become you know big and famous and make all the money when you start to create content that is a very large decision to make you have to consider many things the level of work you're willing to put into your content. What sort of content do you expect? Do you accept the same level from yourself? Are you aware of the types of reactions that you may receive from said content? I think that's rather easy. That's why I put it as a funny uh, start of this. But to give you an idea, when I first started out, I had under when I had like under a hundred sub subscribers, all I received. All I received was very positive affirmation. Like, oh my God, this is great. Oh, you're a hidden gem. Man, this is fantastic. Thank you so much for making this video. Stuff like that. And I was very like, oh, this is very surprising. Very actually positive stuff. But after that, I started to receive some very negative comments. Stuff like, you're not funny. You shouldn't even have it posted this. Uh, like, you look like a stupid neck beard. I, I swear, I just, my girlfriend finds me attractive this way, and I, I have absolutely no image of myself. I literally do not have any comprehension on how good I look personally. I, I, what is ever that's called? Like, face blindness? Something. In order to also create content that you imagine may become popular at certain point, and actually will gain an amount of views, because no matter what you do, you have to expect that you will get a lot of views. Not only because some of the best content I've ever seen on YouTube is from some random 10 year old kid with a phone that just walks around bullying his friends. I mean, it's hilarious. It's really bad. You should not support that at all, but it was funny to me. It's things like that, you don't know what will become popular. So you need to also be aware of you might lose your job because as a normal person, you have to get a job. After you turn 18, you have to go out, get a job, get a 401k, get a thing with insurance so that way you don't die because I live in America. You have to have that first. You have to be living happily and have a good foundation first. So the, the idea of losing my job because of the content I create, because I can be a little bit unhinged because I find that funny, was worrisome. Because a lot of jobs don't want that on their back. A lot of jobs want a very serious focus purely on your job and only your job. For instance, when I started my job on my paperwork that I had to sign, it said that I am not allowed any other job. I cannot get another job because this job wants to require every single bit of my time and any time off they give me is for a reason and it's to relax and de-escalate myself, to work on myself. So they don't want you to have another job. That's something you have to think about in the future. 
not only that, but getting hired in a place in the first place. If uh, I tried to get a new job, I imagine they would see this. I, I, it's a huge thing that I do have to worry about. Now, of course, this is why a lot of people will create an alias to hide behind. You know, you don't use a webcam like I am. You get rid of that. And if you do, you put on a mask and you just make up some username like mine's made up. Because at a certain time when I was a kid first trying to test this out, I didn't have a webcam and I didn't have and I used an alias. I don't feel like that's the type of content I want to create anymore. I wanted to be my true self. And to be my true self, I have to literally be me, myself, the guy you're looking at, you know? To give you a really good example of how it feels, I actually had an experience a couple weeks ago where I was very, very proud of an accomplishment I made in Halo Infinite. <laughs> I did, killed the first boss without bandana on Lasso, and if you don't know Halo, it's just something that I don't even believe has ever been done before. So I was very, very ecstatic by it. And because I was so ecstatic by it, I posted it to all my social medias and was interacting with the comments because I was so proud of myself. I was so happy. I was like, oh, yeah. But on iFunny, the top comment was, you know, normally when people post clips of themselves, they post a good one, which not going to lie. I thought was purely pointing out the quality because it was a two and a half minute clip and you try uploading a two and a half minute clip at 4K 60 FPS on iFunny because it's impossible. I'm known for eating 60 chili dogs without a drink. So I thought they were talking about that. So I said, oh, why? And then I got, you know, an extreme amount of compounding people going through and basically ending up saying, you shouldn't have posted this clip at all. You're so full of shit. One of the people was just being really insulting for no reason. Just being very insulting, trying to get a rise out of me. I, I didn't know why. I didn't know why this person was being so insulting for no reason out of the blue, about, under an accomplishment that I felt so proud about. Like, why would someone not want me to post this at all? Like, this is better than all of the porn and politics and Facebook memes. I'm like, this is way better than any of that. Like if I scrolled past this clip, I would be shocked. So the person as a insult to injury gave me their Discord username and said, all right, let's see if you can even hold the conversation. Here's my Discord name. And me knowing I'm not actually mad because I'm just confused by what's going on. And so I, so I add the guy in Discord and I call him. And the first thing I say is, what's your damage? Like, why are you doing this? And he's just kind of like, what's your damage? Yeah. Okay. And he just started insulting me. He's like, what do you mean? And I gave him the comments and he's like, those aren't insults. I'm like, okay, what do you define as an insult? It goes on and on. Eventually we end up playing and he doesn't really give me anything. He's just insulting me. And it's weird, but I am so grossly curious why this person is so psychotically being arrogant towards me for no reason, for seemingly no reason, that I keep pressuring him. Eventually, he's like, hey, let's play Scrabble. I play Scrabble with him for like five minutes. He beats my ass. I'm terrible at Scrabble, it turns out. I'm not good with words. Words no good. But afterwards i continued to pressure him i said hey seriously why do you why did you react to me like this like do you just have really shitty parents did they beat you and he said yeah actually yeah which when you say it like that i'm i'm not sure if he actually was just some people are like that but i pressured him and i asked why like why did you assume these things and he's like oh well because i know they're true i know you i know you so well how do you know me if you've never asked me a question ask me a question i told you multiple times that you can ask me any question you want i am a completely open person and i will tell you truthfully by any degree you have to i can be as detailed as you want i can be as vague as you want when you first ask me things i'm going to be vague because I don't know how much information you want to know and that's whatever. But 
he started asking me questions and I talked a lot about my upbringing with how my mom was very quiet. So she was there, but she wasn't really there because she just never said anything. And I talked about how my dad was the person that fully showed me how to do most of like my day to day things, my carpentry and whatnot, my way of how to interact with people and get things done. Productivity mindset. It boiled down to that he just believed that every person who makes content on the internet is doing it just so they become famous. That he assumed because I was replying to all of my comments, even the negative ones, be, he thought I was angry and that I just couldn't control myself. What kind of image does that create for the creator? If anything, I beat myself up immediately. Every time I get something negative, I beat myself up. I am my biggest critic, which also is the biggest thing my significant other is actually worried about, my mental health. Because when certain things like this happen, it drains me for a day. I don't worry, not even a day, maybe like three or four hours, because I really need to sit and think about something fully. I need to fully go into it, which I never even fathomed. Like as a content creator, I just want to be a better person. I'm making this content for you to enjoy and for myself to like better myself. You know, I think this is a great way to better myself socially and also do things that I enjoy and see what people enjoy. Cause I'm just fascinated by what people enjoy. When I talked about my personal life and how I got to where I am now, I said, what kind of picture does that form in your mind? And he said, well, you just sound like a normal guy. You don't sound special at all. Yeah, that's the point. The entire point of this is I'm just a normal guy. I, that's all I want to be because I don't believe there's enough of them on the internet creating content. Like, I, it, that's, that's that simple, which I find fascinating that so many believe, people think that way, you know? But getting angry at negative comments has huge impacts on me as a creator, okay? Which is another thing you need to keep in mind is that reacting to negative comments, people will instantly assume you are being petty, insecure, and just overall childish because you can't tell through vo text, tone of voice. And people nowadays use so many crazy, petty ways of showing that they're petty. It's insane. I heard today that people use the thumbs up emoji pettily. I'm like, what can I even use to say okay anymore without, without just being a petty snarkle wanker? So I just want to be concrete right now. In this moment, I create content because I just want to be a positive influence on the world. That's my only goal. Uh, it, it is, I, I could, I'm just enjoying the, the ride. And quite frankly, if my job ever does find out about it and I'm not making money off of this and I have to make that decision, then I will stop making content because that's the decision you have to make. And with every single video I make, I get slightly better. I, I know that when I even post this, there's gonna be dozens of people who take something that I say out of context or don't quite understand the way I said it. Actually, they won't even question at all. I would love if they questioned me because I could defend myself, but instead they will accuse something horrendous. They will jump zero to 100 because you know why? Because people love, absolutely love to, to feel like they're correct. They're just smart. I, want, I, I hesitate saying smart, but just correct. They want to feel correct. And by pointing you out and saying you're blank, imagine the worst shit you can think of. If they can say you're blank, and you react like, what? Wait, why would you? No, of course I'm not. Why, why would you say that? They're going to be like, oh, yeah, he definitely is. Fucking what a guy. Because they don't think normal people respond that way. Even though in reality, you're just walking on the sidewalk. They 
fucking bump check you, hit you in the chest, and expect you to respond like, oh man, that was kind of wild. That is the mentally mentally healthy way. You just go like, well, that was weird. That guy's kind of a wackadoodle. But a lot of people will respond very negatively to that. And that that's not surprising. <laughs> that shouldn't be like a negative thing either to, to a degree because it's just what's kind of expected. By posting something like this, I'm expressing my personal opinion because you also need to express your personal opinions in order for people to even respect you. That's just how life works. People only listen to other people based on if they trust them. And the only way you trust someone is if you believe in what they say. You don't have to agree with it. Just believe that that person that you are talking to believes in what they are talking about. And if you're enjoying someone's content, I think we all can agree that you want to believe that person is being truly themselves. I truly believe I'm a good person. I try my best to be. That's why I'm totally open to all questions. That's why I'm open to everybody asking me a question. I, I try to be as honest and open as possible because I believe that is the only way to feel that I am a good person and that I am trustworthy because you see so many untrustworthy people in the world. And when you ask them questions, they get all defensive and won't answer things. I'm not, that's crazy. If you're a popular person that people look up to, you should be willing to talk about everything to a degree, you know, in a very mind, good mindset. You get the idea. I try to create good content for people to enjoy. I have a real job that has to come first. And with all that being said, I am no longer trying to stick to a schedule. It's just, it's just not realistic for a single person to create good content on a schedule and also live my other life. I think my content has kind of gone down a little bit because I couldn't spend as much time on it. I got more hate because of it probably, which I see that the hate does influence you no matter what you do. But... I want to be able to create content that I feel like I want to create like this as just part of my saga, I guess. And if people don't watch it, whatever, you know, the people that do will understand who I am the most. And if people talk about me negatively, they can just defend me on their own. And being defensive isn't bad. I mean, that's just what you do when you get insulted about something. That's just normal human behavior. And you can disagree with me in the comments all you want. Like, I actually, I keep my comments open. They are always, I allow all comments always. And I will sift through them and delete the ones that are just unfiltered arrogance for no reason. Other than that, I allow everything. You can call me names. I'm fine with that. It's just... Call, uh, saying things incorrectly that I will remove. It's just weird. I've talked before about productive tasks and social tasks. Productive tasks is anything you do that you would consider productive. Doing chores, learning something new, you know, going and visiting family if that is, you know, productive in your mindset because you may not be close to your family. Then there's social tasks. Social tasks are whatever task you have to help your social capabilities. A lot of people nowadays, for instance, scroll through TikTok, they scroll through YouTube, they will send memes, they will make memes, they will create content. That's a social task. It is a task that you are training your social capability with one another. Thing is, is that not a lot of us actually train that social task. They train just the productive task. And they have no social, they are socially inept because they only focused on the productivity part of their life and never the social part of their life. They didn't watch movies. They didn't watch TV. They didn't do anything like that because those things are a waste of time. But to the social people, those social things are actually very useful for communicating with one another. Oh, hey, how did that last? Did you see that last episode of Seinfeld last night? You know, that stereotype is because of stuff like that. It's a social task. It's to help you communicate with other people and know more people around you.
because nowadays as content creators, you see that the majority of people that create content are crazy. They're absolutely insane. And that's because viewers love that. They love that. All right. I don't know where I'm going with this. What I'm saying is that I believe that most people who create content online now, like nowadays in a realistic standard, are either A, privileged to some degree, like as a extreme degree, I will point out those streamers who like stream eight hours a day, they have to be extremely privileged. You have to have that, you have to have enough money to start with. The free time to do it and so either you've got mommy and daddy's money and you don't have a job, so you've invested in streaming equipment and you somehow have started making money off of it and you just have continued that lifestyle. Or worse, you're somebody who does have a life like me. You have a job. You have people that rely on you like children and you spend every single second of your free time creating content instead. You don't spend it at all with your kids. You don't cook, you don't clean, you don't pick up around the house, you don't go on vacations with your friends. And in both of those instances, you are trading your life experiences for a chance to influence people online. Because if you were, if you grew up privileged enough to the point where you didn't have to afford anything and you could just stream all day every day, then I'm sorry, but you're not a normal person. You're not really a good positive influence on a lot of people. And if you're sacrificing all of your free time and your social tasks on making content instead of spending it with your family or actually towards something that is productive that you need to do, you also are not really a good positive influence on people. I say that fills in a very large amount of people who create content online. That mindset, it creates an incredibly self-entitled mindset. You are selfish at that rate. And I don't know about you, but I feel like that's extremely wrong. On top of the people who just do this to make money or become famous, it's just, it makes me uncomfortable. I don't understand how people can support those people either. Like after hearing that part in that podcast I listened earlier today, like, oh, how do I, be well, how else are we going to become big and famous? I'm not going to listen to them anymore. That, I cannot support content creators that do this just because they want to become big and famous. Like, how do you choose to do anything? Do you only listen to the good comments and never listen to the bad ones? You never better yourself? You're, you're just a, you've just, you're, you're just a piece of clay being molded by society and not at all deciding anything on your own at that rate. It, I, I just, I can't understand it. As another good example, I had a couple of friends that I went to high school with that reached out to me in my DMs and sent me a link to their OnlyFans account. This, I can't even fathom being desperate enough to do that. So I feel bad for those people. And I'm like, oh, oh my, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm not a simp, but hey, good on you. Sure. I mean, I hope you can make as much money as possible to get back up on your feet. They always never respond, but it also builds a mindset of, them that I now have in my mind, that they have now degraded themselves so low to sell themselves online, not even to talk about the other problems that will have on your job future. You've given up on society. That just shows me that you've given up on society as a whole and are doing something that just takes advantage of sad, desperate people. So please try to think of these things before making that full decision. Even making content like this, like I'm doing now, it makes me nervous because I am actually stating my opinion as a fact. I'm being arrogant right now by doing this. I said I remove unfiltered arrogance. This is just straight up arrogance. If you don't know what arrogance is, it means an overconfidence 
in your own capabilities, which you need to get anything done. You need to be confident in your own capabilities to get things done. That's just how being productive works. So you need to be arrogant. Being unfiltered arrogant is when you start assuming things about people and you know you cause more problems than you solve. But by being arrogant, I know that I am forming a general opinion of something that I believe in. And I hope that I can create a community that truly tries to keep every type of person in mind and actually kind of works together to create a very fluid community because that's how I believe myself am. I, I believe myself it is. I believe I am. That is what I believe I am. So to end this, creating content has a lot of long lasting effects that you need to keep in mind. As always, I really enjoy interacting with my community. So if you have any questions or comments, reply down below. I'm also going to start not even asking people to like or subscribe at the end of these videos. I hear it from every other content creator that exists. You understand your adults, you get the picture. Uh, and quite frankly, I find it weird because I've now noticed every corporate content creator has these lists and things like that to say, it just seems like I'm demeaning myself. You know, I, I just, so if you like, if you like it, you'll like it. You know, I, I believe in you. Um, that's it. I hope that this has reached out and helped some people. I hope it wasn't too long and check out my other content. If you just want to see what my humor is like, it's a little bit better than this. This was very serious. I hope that I don't have to create many serious videos like this because I'm a shy little bean. <laughs> Is that a good... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Until next time, see ya. Bye-bye! Until next time, I'm Shadads, or Josh. Call me whatever you like. Bye bye. Fantastic yeah. word, bud. I, I, you put so much effort in that. What that take you four or five hours to do? I, that's fascinating. Like that's absolutely fascinating. Good job. But you did lose all of that content. Where where is it? Is yeah, it all? It's all true. gone. You fucking. I can't fucking believe it. How did you, you got me there? How did you? How did you waste that much?